So what's up guys, in today's video I just studied Reach for like a whole two hours, yeah no, two hours, so long, right? And I was just seeing how well his piece control was, obviously it is amazing, but what ways, what techniques he was using the most, I was just looking at that and how I could counter those techniques. Now they're not perfect counters obviously, but I feel like they're really really good. So I've got two counters and one rule I guess to protect yourself from piece control. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please watch to the end, and if you want a part 2, which I can make, I want you to like the video. I don't feel like making a part 2, so unless this video gets a lot of likes or a lot of upvotes on Reddit, I won't make one. But, hope you guys enjoy, and peace. So the first technique I'm going to show you how to counter is this technique right here, where the enemy edits out to the right, right here, and you fully box your enemy. So I'm going to teach you how to counter this right now. So the reason this technique works so well is that the pro players can tell which way you're going to move through the walls, as you can see right here. So you can see my character, or the opponent's character moving to the right, so that's why I move to the right as well, and completely box my enemy up. So many people try to counter this by building a wall out when they edit, but if your opponent is a really good player, this is what happens, they get the wall as well and completely box you before you can do anything. So how you can actually counter this is by editing a cone. Now you want to wait for your cone to completely reset, so you should probably do this as soon as you box up. And guess what, it is so hard for your enemy to look through the builds. So this means, as you can see from the, my opponent's POV, this is what they're looking at. You really cannot see which way I'm going to edit out. As you can see right here, my friend's going to go inside the box, he's inside the box, and he's going to edit out, and I don't know which way he's going to edit out. I actually don't remember which way he's going to edit out. And he's going to edit out the left side. But I don't completely, I completely don't see him because I cannot see him through the builds. So this is the first way to counter it. The second step is simple. Instead of editing to the left or the right, you want to edit out the top. Or maybe the bottom. Or behind you. Now you may think going up top is smart since you get high ground. But if a player has really, really good reflexes, they can block you like that. Now instead, if I edit out the back right here, I cannot really react because I can't see him through the build. So suddenly he's going to build above me and get high ground. So this, I recommend the back more because it's more safe. But if you reckon the top, and you know maybe you want to piss control down onto them, that's fine as well. So yeah, moving on to the next section. So the next technique I want to talk about countering is this technique right here, where you go one above your opponent, cone floor, and hit your opponent hard or box them up. Now there are a couple of ways of countering this technique so let's get right into it. So for this technique right here, let's say you're in this box right here. Now and your opponent is one level higher than you and he's obviously if you see if he sees you edit it out he's going to do that floor cone over you and completely box you. Now in this situation what you want to do right here is hide inside your box. Then don't go outside, don't show any part of your body then you want to sit in your side of box and floor cone. Now, if you get these walls, go up fine. But if you don't get those walls, right, what you want to do is build another one. Now, the reason this is so good is that if your opponent instantly gets the floor and cone, right, his instant reaction is to edit. This means he's, this means he's going to waste a bit of time. And in that time, you can do this right here. Build another one. Uh, go up. Take high ground. Or you can maybe even go for a shot. Now the second way to countering this is that if you're expecting this, right? If you're expecting this full cone, which you should be, you can build a wall here, right here. Since this guy is so concentrated on going full cone, so you might not get it, but you're 100% going to get the wall if you hold it the whole time. Then what you can do is edit a window, it can be an arc edit as well, and build a cone. Now this put, now this puts your opponent more in picture since he's kind of trapped and he has to go to either to the right or to the left. In that situation right here, you can just take high ground with the guy the guy's panicking, or you can further box him by going upwards. Your choice. So yeah, that is how you would counter this technique right here if you encountered it in game. So the third and final tip I just want to go over is building a cone or ramp inside of your box, preferably a cone. Now this is so important, as you're about to see in these clips. So Reet kills a bunch of people just because they don't have what they have. A cone or a floor inside their box right here they don't own the co they don't own that there's a ramp that's placed there and they die if he had a cone or a floor there at the start obviously it's not really his fault 
he would have survived. Again, right here, he goes into a place where it's not his cone of law. This means he cannot block shots at all, right? Even if he had walls, it still wouldn't block that shot. Again, right here, he doesn't have cone. He doesn't have ramp. He gets forced into this situation right here. If he just had that, he would be able to block it. But no, and you know, he might be able to eat it down as well if he had a ramp or a cone. But he doesn't. In this situation as well, he'd be able to block the shots. So this shot right here, the cone makes him so visible. Since the reader's on high ground and it's got a lot of stuff around him, right? He can choose if he wants to peek or not peek. But the guy, since he's on a cone, he's got no choice of if he wants to peek or not peek. So he's always constantly peeking, which is obviously free shots right there as well. He just had to wait until we turned the corner. So he was just waiting, 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 trying to go for a shot, but that's just really hoping. That's not really a strategy, and he just dies. So having that cone is so, so important. Right here again, Rick gets dropped. Then he doesn't have that. He's on the opponent's ramp right there. Again, this guy as well, so he can't block any shots, and he dies right here. Now I'm going to show you a clip. This is earlier on in the game, and this enemy has the ramp over Reed. And he doesn't kill him. Okay, I'll play it right now. He doesn't kill him just because he has this ramp. Every other enemy, you know how easily Reed just killed him? But this one guy, just because he has the ramp, he doesn't get killed. I know he's very close to getting killed, but he doesn't get killed straight away. The other kids just get killed like that, but this guy doesn't just because he has that ramp cone. It's such a simple thing. It's such a simple thing, but people don't do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys will be better at beating pest control. Pest control is a very hard thing to beat if your opinion if your opponent is really really good at it. But there are small things you can do to keep it in the back of your mind just to just try to counter it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and peace.